you can always come back from your mistakes. You can make one mistake, you can change your life, you can come back. But that first mistake, oof, that one can pretty much trigger and set off a whole bunch of other mistakes. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we're talking all about mistakes. Specifically, the first mistake that you make and how it can ruin a whole bunch of stuff, all right? So we're talking about the book, The First Mistake. The author of the book is Sandy Jones. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller, okay? So this book follows Nathan and Alice and then their best friend, Beth, okay? So I pick up the book and I'm reading it and it immediately starts off with Nathan taking his son out somewhere and he sees the wife arguing with the man. And you're like, oh no, she's cheating. Oh my God, okay. There's so many books about cheating. What's gonna be important in this book? Well, the wife does cheat. And it turns out that she actually falls in love with the person that she cheats with. But the first mistake is Nathan just knows who she's cheating with why she's there, how it started, all of the little things he did to push her into another person's arms. He's got it all wrong. <laughs> and not only does he have it wrong, but his wife, Alice, she gaslights him the entire book. No, I'm not cheating. Oh, we were planning your birthday. Oh, I met up with them for this. Oh, this is not what really happened. Oh, I'm going over to my shy friend's house so that she can console me. Oh, blah, 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 blah. The whole time, Nathan is just like, I can't believe you're doing this. I, I'm so sorry. How can I help? He has no idea what's going on, okay? Alice has a tracker under his car. She's watching him go in the wrong direction. She's secretly laughing. Bananas. Bananas. And bananas is good. <laughs> the first mistake was a great book, okay? And I would absolutely reread this book because... As you're reading it, you might think you know what's happening, right? You're turning the pages, you're paying attention. There are so many twists and turns in the book. And then when you finally get to the end, it ends with a cliffhanger, literally. And a couple people are falling off a bridge and it's like, yes, Alice saved the right person. So it's my personal theory that she actually saves the love of her life, okay? And that's pretty much how the book ends. But which one was the love of her life, right? Was it the husband? Was it who she was cheating with, right? Who, who does she save? Who does she decide after all of this drama and chaos, I'm going to continue to live with you? That's the part we don't know. And that's what makes the book so good because I read all the time, but a book that is easy to follow along, a book with suspense and thrills that I can't anticipate, you don't see that very often, okay? Sandy Jones did a phenomenal job with this book. Absolutely great, okay? So, yes, I would reread this book. And if you are interested in other books with all kinds of crazy twists and turns and little funky stuff, check out this review here. You shouldn't have come here. All right, and I'll see you in the next review.